let's do it guys this is the brand new blood maiden so what it requires you to use is called the baneful hearts so uh, let me see if we can show off those hearts i don't think they go in our inventory but nonetheless oh someone else already put it in and uh, that is the barbarian and that is the tornadoes that come out from the double swing what is this but i haven't actually fought this boss this is going to be my first time checking it out so let's see if this boss is hard or if it's going to be dropping anything good definitely curious we'll see how many legendaries we get oh we got exquisite blood that's really good so we need it for lord Zier. man there's just so much going on like the visual clutter is crazy <laughs> it's like it's kind of like overwatch and double shields Let's see how hard this Blood Maiden is. So I think we're supposed to like kill stuff and then it's building it up. So let's check it out. Oh! There it is. Viola. The Blood Maiden. Alright. Is she already dead? Oh! Oh! Wait, did she just like summon more? Like, she just summoned triple Hel Hellborns. Those are kind of like the uh, the bosses from the uh, Vampiric season. Like, those are actually kind of challenging. Oh, this this boss is. Relatively tanky, for sure. Like, what's what I find more interesting is this is tankier than the world boss. Oh, and then they just summon three more bosses. <laughs> I want to try to position myself further away because I have damage um, to distant. There's so many things dropping. I like how she flies up and then just drops like these bosses. Oh, she dropped four that time. Okay, this is another newer monster that kind of spits out other monsters. It's newer to D4. I'm pretty sure we had it in D3 in like the uh, the siege. But I want to know what the, the heck this thing is going to be dropping. And I'm pretty sure you can get the hearts by playing in the hell tide. Okay, now it's uh, crowd control. So let's get our big DPS window in. All right, what are we getting for drops? Ooh, okay, it dropped one thing that was in. Um, I see it right there. It is the focus. Okay, so one of them is got the greater affix and how many legendaries do we get i don't remember how many we started off with to be honest all right let's kill this thing first so we can actually check out what we got and see if anything was special oh there's wow um there is a lot more holy oh i think what's happening is the uh the bar has filled up for many people because we killed so many things and uh, now we're just gonna go kill everything and there's another greater affix that's our second greater affix that we got so we got two Greater Affix. That's basically like an ancient. It's the best way to kind of explain it. One of the stats is ancient on the item's roll. But the item can actually have multiple roll on it. I have one unique. Oh, we can do it again. Um, let's just... Should we just do it again? Let's just go ahead and do it again because that was really quick. Okay. Okay. Again. I'll let them know we're doing it again. We got more exquisite blood. Oh, wow. Let's just summon it while we're, while we're getting all of these. Let's just go... Let's go all in, man. <laughs> well, all these other monsters are still coming out because how it works is each player, I believe, on the new Helltide gets uh, their own little, like, bar. And when that fills up, it summons the other monsters. And usually what happens is more monsters, uh, you know, obviously come out and then die. And then that fills up someone else's bar. And then there's just more and more and it just gets out of control, which is kind of exciting. The new Helltide is definitely more fun. So yeah, we're now we're building up the bar in the top right over here. We should probably pay more attention because if you do die in the Helltide, you lose half of your cinders, which is obviously no good. But getting the exquisite blood uh, will be useful because uh, it's another way to uh, farm Lord Zir. And also we can kind of check how long it, it, it's taking us to farm the Blood Maiden. I think it was about a three minute engagement. Oh, there's another thing got summoned over there. Let's go back to the, the Maiden area. But yeah, you definitely don't want to die in Helltide. I think we actually have so many of those, like, health elixir ones, where it's, like, increases maximum life. Okay, we can just go pop that. If 
but like my mana is not dropping with some of the new affixes what's really awesome is we have like just mana regen it's like uh like a numerical stat per second it's great and you can see my mana pretty much doesn't really go down unless i'm hitting nothing if i hit nothing oh i'm like targeted or something you see that on on us that's new. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't know if it's a new monster uh, ability. Man, there's so much. But I think the Blood Minion should just drop one unique. Maybe at a small chance for an uber unique. That would be kind of cool. Oh, there's 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 the barb with the tornadoes. Oh, we got one of the uh, bounties, I guess. Spawned in over here, which is perfect. Man, there's so much stuff in the Helltide. Holy. I'm glad we got to do the boss twice to see if... Maybe we got unlucky. We just didn't get a good drop. Oh. Wait, is that... That's, a, that's an amulet with a, a greater affix of two. That's, that's pretty big. Because amulets are one of the stronger things in the game, and you definitely want to have... If you can get three, three is ideal. I do have one item that has gotten three on it. I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. Once we get to someplace safe, and I spend the cinders, because, again, if we die, well, we lose our stuff. Oh, there is ancestral gloves. I did see it. Uh, that were uh, unique. There's so much stuff. I'm surprised we still have room. Okay, we're like way out of room right now. All right, so, uh, well, our inventory is basically full, and since these don't really do anything, we should just grab these. But I think the only thing that really matters, to be honest, is specifically the greater affixed items. So we'll go ahead and I will show you guys exactly what we got. That was crazy though. Like it just had so much going on. I like it. So. Uh, anyways, let me put these back because these items we started off with. So we did get Fist of Fate. It rolled 200, which is the worst roll possible. So that's automatically going to be in the garbage. But there are a few that have the greater affix. And so I'll show you what a greater affix looks like. So see if I drop these. I'll have to unfavorite them. How it has this number three. That means that three of the stats on the item are higher than they are normally are by 1.5 times. So that's what the greater affix is. So we got an amulet that actually rolled with two of them, which is huge. Um, I'm not going to really bother looking at too many things here because unless it's greater affix, it's probably not going to be an upgrade for our character. So we're just looking whatever got greater affix. Okay, so, ooh, that that's huge. We got a life, which is a pretty solid roll. Um, but on amulet, honestly, you could do without it. But that crit strike chance of 15 is massive. Uh, that is amazing. So this is going to be definitely something that we will use. And we're going to roll off that endless pyre. So this is going to be definitely a, a huge win. So huge, awesome item right there. And then what else got the greater affix on it? Uh, we have 15% lucky hit chance. It's got int life, but I think I want like cooldown reduction as, also, as well as like resource, some sort of resource cost reduction. So I think that was the only two that we got. Again, Unless it's a greater affix, think of it like an ancient in... Oh, we've got another one, but this is life per second. It's a terrible roll. If if it has a roll that you don't want, you can roll it off, but you're not going to roll into a greater affix. So basically, that's what we got. Uh, we got a, a really good amulet. So that was a really huge find, but that's the new Helltide, and that's what we got off of it. We had a couple other items, but that's basically the sum up the new Helltide. More stuff to do, I guess. At the end of the day, it just fills up a bar, sums a bunch of monsters. You saw the Blood Maiden. This is a pretty extensive fight. The fact that she jumps up and summons bosses is cool. But what do you guys think of the new Helltide? I think it's definitely a huge improvement.